Hi, I'm Phil from Driftworks and this is my 964 Turbo and today we're finally back on the carbon ceramic brake kit for the car. So I say finally, because it's been a long time. It's been probably maybe six weeks, something like that. And believe it or not, the car has been stuck on the ramp the entire time. Um, it was supposed to be a relatively quick turnaround from 3D printing to uh, the final aluminium products. Um, but a few things got in the way, and one of those things was me having a child, not me physically having a child, but uh, having to deal with my wife having a child and um, sort of things like this not being a massive priority for some time. So yeah, you'll have to forgive me for the delay. You'll also have to forgive if you hear any other noise because we're also doing a E30 M3 slight fix that J Jay's working on at the moment. Um, so it's another video. You may have seen it beforehand, you may see it after, but yeah, we're doing corner weighting and kind of a bit of a look over suspension and stuff because I'm doing a track day in this on Monday. So yeah, if you hear any noise, it's definitely Jay. No yeah. Noisy bugger. So I digress. Still the same. The uprights removed, the BBI upright. There. On the bench with the mock-up for the um, PCCB disc. But check it out. Martin came through with the aluminium versions. where the cutter's uh, gone into the surface there. So I've profiled it, finished this end off, but I need to load a couple more cutters in. So, uh, a bit more boring stuff. Okay, so that's as much. Uh, that's the flatlands finished, profile finished down to that line there. We've got this area finished with the ball nose again. All right, so, got left hand machined and fan sawed off and right hand so I'm just got to band saw that off its uh, off its block and we can get onto the machine in the underside and the pocket in here right, this is the second side of the right hand kind of bracket finish with the pocket to take the pillar off the hub and moving around the shop in and tapping the left hand bracket and they are typical to Martin absolutely awesome <laughs> um, perfect in every way uh, I've quickly uh, offered them up against the caliper and offered them up against the upright and they seem to fit absolutely perfectly so yeah um, 
This has actually been, this bin on the ramp has held up a few things, including the GT3, which I need to align after fitting the new wheels and stuff. We ideally needed to put this on it as well. So, and, and your obviously important stuff, your Renault. Yeah, that needs alignment <laughs> before Monday. Not that we've got a working alignment rig, but doing it on the four poster and leveling the four poster is yeah. easier than leveling the floor every time and yeah. rolling about on the floor. So. Yeah, um, I'm quite keen to get back in the 964 and have a little rip in it again because it's been too long. So yeah, um, I'm going to get this done today, 100%, definitely, definitely today, or definitely. Tomorrow. Or maybe definitely tomorrow. <laughs> or let's say in one episode. to the posh BBI knuckle again. So as is typical on these quick jobs that you return to after six weeks. It's not typical at all, is it? But yeah, this is basically been up on the ramp, the car stored underneath it. And magically, I'm missing a spacer, a little spacer that goes between the anti-roll bar drop link and the upright. So I've got to go and make a new one of those. And also I completely forgot that I'd uh, made these uh, bolts for the um, to mount the bracket to the upright and the tolerances are extremely tight on these. And uh, yeah, I'd only made two of them because I was only seeing whether it was going to work. So I need to make another couple of those. Um, to mount the other side as well, so off to the lathe. Mounted really nicely, no gaps, and uh, tolerances are all correct. Hopefully, you can see down there and the bit that's cut out. And yeah, that bit mounts nicely. So, we just got to see whether we can mount the caliper to it now. Uh, before I do that, though, I'm just going to very quickly um, swap the link pipe and the bleed nipples over on this. I can't remember whether I actually ended up talking about this or not in any of the videos, but obviously you have leading and trailing pistons. It's quite important which direction the caliper goes. Um, but the idea from day one was to always just swap this link pipe for these bleed nipples. Should be the same thread, all being well, unless um, Porsche have been particularly nasty to us. The only thing that it does have, I've got to be a little bit mindful of, this is a little recess in the caliper itself there for this pipe. I'm hoping I can bend it out of the way. Um, but if it doesn't work, Jay's newfound brake pipe making skills might come to the rescue. So yeah, bleed nipples transfer nicely, nice and easy. Link pipe, slightly more complicated than I originally thought. Um, not only do we have an issue with the, there's no recess on what is the top of the caliper normally for this to go through, like you can see just here. There's like a little groove for it. But also on this side, we've got to sneak around the bolt, which means that we need a longer link pipe which means that we need the assistance of a man like Jay, who is, since his uh, V10 
uh, brake pipe fabrication days, he's now the go-to guy for um, hardline for brakes. So, um, Is it? There he is. Yeah. Yeah, loving it. Loving life. <laughs> so yeah, nice easy little job for you there. It's not easy or little. Well, the pipe's little, but the job's not. Well, it would be easy, except you're going to want to look at it. Yeah. <laughs> Study it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> measure it. Analyze it. Yeah, measure it. You're not An to measure analyze it. left and right next to each as other. As long as it looks the same, you're not allowed to put a tape measure on it. <laughs> How about that? That's a deal, mate. Okay. As long as I don't have to do it. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> Sweet. So, you know, I wanted to do this in one day because it was a pretty simple job. Which job are we talking about? The uh, this Now we're talking brake calipers. So, oh, these are brake calipers. So, yeah. Um, it's the same day, I promise. I might be wearing a different t-shirt. Jay, are you wearing a different t-shirt? Probably got you know, a different bro. grime on there. <laughs> yeah, things got a bit um, away from us with the E30 M3 uh, that we were working on at the same time as this, um, which we're getting ready for track day on Monday. And it's currently Thursday with about two and a half, three hours of Jay's time remaining because he doesn't work Fridays. Uh, and then also thrown into the mix is James's E92 M3, um, which is another of our Driftworks cars, but you don't see it very often. Um, we just had to do a quick emergency oil leak repair on this and... Now a quick, don't rub the fuel pipe through repair. Yeah, so because we're running out of time, I'm just going to... Uh, we're basically going to throw in some stiffer rear springs on this. Um, so I'm going to do that whilst... Because you could raising it. Well, I, I am going to raise it a little bit. Yeah. But yeah. Jay's the expert in brake pipes, so he's going to make this link pipe for me on the uh, Porsche PCZB calipers. And then hopefully... They're not going to leak. Yeah, hopefully by the end of the day, this is off the two poster. We can get the E30 back on to finish it. And this is finally off the four poster. Um, and I can drive it home. Well, that'd be so, nice, yeah, it? remember what it's like. <laughs> so yeah, uh, we want the world's best brake pipe you've ever seen, please. No, I've ever. <laughs> I've already done that on the V10. Are uh, the ones that we're going to cut off shortly? Yeah, the ones we've got to throw away again. again. <laughs> well, we won't throw these away, hopefully. So uh, yeah. Hopefully, yeah. Okie dokie. There you go. I've set you up on a tripod, Jay, so people can see what you're doing. In the so, practice one. Yeah, so people can critique you. Yeah. That's mad. Jay is doing a practice one. That is incredible. Why are you doing a practice one, Jay? Explain. Because I've done this before <laughs> and it never goes right the first time. So if we do a practice one, we get some idea of where it's going to go. And also, you're doing the practice one out of the easier material. Out of the copper. Yeah, because yeah. the copper is much easier to bend uh, and work with this and, type of stuff than yeah. the conifer, which is like completely Don't like rock solid. It again. I'll just straighten that. I don't think we've got enough. We'll be fine. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I can see what you're doing there. Looks good. Yeah. Is, that, is that bolt going to go in and out? That's the question. It, it will. That set needs to go that way a bit more. Yeah. It will. Don't thread my calipers. I try not to. <laughs> not your like. Yeah. What was it we did that on? The steering rack. Oh, yeah, it was. Yeah. <laughs> I say we did that one. Yes. I, actually, we did. You were involved. Well, I was watching you. You weren't. You were holding it too. <laughs> I'm sure these are very easy to replace. Yeah. Got a plan then. Let's try and make it out of something good. Yeah, I guess you've got to be careful on the crease there. Put but a kink in it there yeah. is the problem, but with that threaded all the way in, there should be a... Yeah, show the people. That's what we're talking about. Uh, obviously, it's going to look slightly better than that. But I hope so. We'll yeah. see though. And then um, I think we're just going to heat shrink it um, in black. Should look fine. Exactly where I want it. Do you want to just try it? Yep. Just make sure you've got wheel clearance. I would love to. Uh, and I haven't cranked these up because I'm scared of doing it. Okay. You want me to crank them up? That's what I'm saying, saying, yeah. I shall be getting rid of the wear sensors. 964s do not have that, as far as I know. Do they? 
Do they not? What's that lie that keeps coming on the dash? Oh, windscreen washer. Yeah, that's your fault. Yeah, it is. You made the windscreen washer tank. It's your fault for making it too low and rubbing through the old one. <laughs> it's my fault for employing you. Yeah, it's all your fault if you think about it that way. That looks alright in there, doesn't it? Yeah. Like a real thing. Like a fancy thing. Yeah. Yeah. With a fancy thing. I mean, to be fair, it matches the knuckles, and the knuckles are lovely, so. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, again, which you can't see. Like CNC billet knuckles. Yeah. And then say goodbye to CNC billet adapter plate. Billet! Billet! This is billet, mate! Right, so. I'm going to do this without KOing the caliper into the disc. I hope. Or the pads. Or yeah. anything. Yeah, because I haven't got um, retaining screws. Is it going to see that the right end's the wrong way up on the caliper for a no, Porsche? it's not. Because no, nobody's going to tell me that. Well, I just have. No, I just didn't hear you. <laughs> <laughs> You've thought about it, haven't you? Yeah. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> no, I've started. Right, that's started. And then this should hopefully snip past your lovely new brake pipe. Ooh. It did. I need to put a wheel on it now, don't yeah. I? So I've got to jack it up. But, and um, I guess take the old caliper off at some point. Yeah. Will the wheel go on with that on? Are you, ha are you happy with this if it's gone on? As long as it's as tight long enough. As the wheel goes on. Yeah, yeah. yeah so I haven't talked that yet, so okay. uh, I'm going to have to drop that caliper down out of the way. So, yeah. You know, I've got the fancy new Michelins and the. Uh, new inner barrels for the wheels that I was going to build um, but I decided to not do that because <laughs> I can't be asked. So the car ch changed so well, like completely transformed by changing onto those other tyres, the non-super sports and they're only cheap things. These, as far as a lot of people would be concerned, Velino is another random brand but they're actually really good tyres. So, well they're uh, really soft. Yeah, I've just chucked them on the wheels without modifying the wheels just so I can get the car back on its feet again and actually drive the bloody thing because... And you were moaning at how much the GT3 understeers. Yeah, I, yeah, I've had doubts about going to such a narrow front wheel because I was going to change it to a 235 front tyre, like you would get on a normal Porsche, but yeah, since getting the GT3 back with a um, really harsh diff in it, same as this has got kind of, uh, the understeer is just really annoying at low speeds, so... I'm kind of almost reluctant to narrow the front tyre. So I'm going to put these on for a bit and again, just drive it, just crack on, have a bit of fun in the car, see how I get on. And again, I might I might change to another brand of uh, a more known brand of tyre, but for now, who cares? They're balanced, they're round, they're very sticky and they work really well. This tyre so Now let's um, smash a carbon disc. We had wheels on this at this point before. Over the brakes, yeah. You have. Yeah. That looks tight, you know, around your brake. Uh, of course it does. Yeah. Dodge. Oh, I, don't know. I mean, you better put some nuts on, but I don't think that's a very good place for it. No. No, there's no point putting nuts on it. It needs to go behind. So you know where the standard one goes. It needs to go right round behind, doesn't yeah. it? Like so across the flat. The disc, so you can see so you've got enough yeah, of a Yeah, but it needs, to, there. it needs to come through yeah. there, doesn't it? Sorry, mate. I That's should've. all right. Let's uh, yeah. redo that again. Yeah. And do you, I mean, you might be able to use that pipe, maybe not. <laughs> no, nah, I'll just start again. It'd be easier. Okay. Yeah, let's do that again. Yeah. This one is actually going to work, hopefully. Yeah. I hope so. Okay. Round two. Bing, bing, bing. It's getting the pads in the right way as well, making sure that, because they're used, that the, um, because the pistons are offset in different sizes. I just want to make sure that they're, as they were, not that they were matched to these discs, so I don't know why I'm bothered. Oh, is this a complete mismatch? Yeah, it's a hodgepodge. 
cool. Have um, parts. Well, it's not really something you'd want to buy new, is it? <laughs> hey, you not. Is that the angle that the shock sits at? Yeah, yeah. Lo- in fact, actually, a lot of people talk about that. They ask a question, what they say is, like, look is how that weird connected? the caster is. The, you know, the, the caster angle is really weird on this car. That's got nothing to do with caster. It's clearance. Um, I don't know if you can see it better like that in a car. But it's basically just the bottom part of the shock is offset this way. Right. It doesn't make any difference to caster angle. Caster angle is just a measurement between uh, the top pivot point here and the bottom ball joint here. It doesn't matter how it ha- how it gets to that point. It's, it's just pivot, a straight line. Pivot and yeah. pivot, yeah. So your caster is that angle from there to there. But yeah, it does look particularly weird on these old Porsches. I guess maybe is it because uh, some of them are four-wheel drive? And that's axle clearance. It would be, wouldn't Probably. it? But who knows if that's the actual reason. Yep. Okay, please be happy. It will be. <laughs> well, happy enough. Yeah. Bye bye, Bwacket. <laughs> For the bikes. <laughs> the big bikes. Beautiful Bwacket. <laughs> oh, he's going to get us. Well, he's so mean to everybody else, you know. He yeah, deserves exactly. it, doesn't he? Really? He really does. He's been real mean about you and your uh, Renault, Frio, hasn't he? Yes, yeah. I don't know why that guy doesn't hate Craig. Oh, yeah, he's the one who's really mean. There we go. Should be somewhere around there. Okay. Okie dokie. Okay. Try the wheel again then. Make sure it fits. Um, okay. I'll just chop that off in a minute. It's looking promising, Jay. Can't really go anywhere else, no, can it? Exactly. So, yeah. Let's just put them nuts on. Oh, we've made a mess today. <laughs> <laughs> busy day, we've done three cars. Yeah, that's right? not normal, is it? Three yeah. projects on the go. Yeah, it's not been uh, normal, like, no pressure. We've no, no, some we've pressure. Been, yeah, we've got to do something for a change. It's just getting stuck on there, that was useless. Yeah. It's not going at the little gun. No, I think it's okay, it's just. It's you got to commit. Well, it's, see how close it is to the bolts on the three-piece wheels there? Uh, yeah. Yeah, that's kind of fine. Well, it can't yeah. really go anywhere else if you don't want to hit the disc. It's Sorry. Right. It's about it's 10 mil away from the disc. Yeah, so it shouldn't vibrate into the disc, Yeah, it? it's fine, and it's, although it looks close from that angle, it's actually, it's 10 mil that way. And it's, yeah, well, it's, it's a lot a good, further away than the Yeah, it's, a good, it's 10 mil away from um, the face of the centre as well. So. And if you saw through it, you only lose the front brake. Don't you? <sighs> that looks fairly spectacular, doesn't it? It looks quite good, doesn't yeah. it? I'm still, I'm in an iron as to whether to paint them in the classic gold um, Brembo with the classic Brembo logo or whether to keep them in the Porsche PCCB colour. But for now, I don't care. I just want the car to work. Oh, is that a thing on Porsche? You get yellow calipers if you get the fancy Yeah, work. that's carbon, basically. That shows that it's got carbon. Right. Is, okay. But the yellow doesn't look as terrible behind the gold as I thought it would. It actually looks okay. Yeah. So, not okay. one for now. One for later. Let's get it working. Let's get the other side. Well, you're going to plumb this one in? No, yeah, I'll bend the other pipe. If you bend the other pipe. Yeah. There you go, then you have the camera. Woohoo! So, time to make some mess removing the pipe from the old caliper and put it on the new one. Yeah, I haven't drained the fluid out of this like a sane person would do. But, uh, you know, just do it quickly, it'll be fine. Oh, if you're clever. <laughs> Semi-clever. Hook that up there. Just for a second.
luckily they're both Brembo calipers, so just M10, same fittings. One part of this was nice to me. One part of what we done? Yeah, <laughs> everything else was an absolute mission. This isn't the not recommended conversion. <sighs> yeah, people it's not say... not as bad as the attempt. Should you? Yeah, people saying you should sell it as a kit. <laughs> no. How many people say you should sell the V10 as I a know, kit? I know, lots of people say that as well. Madness. Yeah. No thanks. No thanks. Well, no thanks. It's not possible. Well, you need that much hassle in your life. Can you imagine the customer service going for me? Oh, God. Fills you with dread, doesn't it? It doesn't fit, you ever told you. <laughs> It'll only fit if I have to, if I chop my engine up. Yeah, I know. Yeah. That's what you have to do. Make sure that orientation is good. Um, just give that a quick wipe down. Okay, that's one side done. Obviously, I'm going to put the other side on first before we then go about bleeding it. Office invasion. Yeah, we're just getting in the way in the um, packing area for a moment because I know what everyone's going to ask. And that's the weight difference uh, between what was on there and what we're putting on. Uh, I'm not sure how relevant it is because these are really worn out. Well, not really worn out, but enough to take the um, grooves off them. And they're a racing caliper, so they're going to be bloody light anyway. So, four pot Brembo. Caliper, 2.95 kilos. You're going to put them both on together? Uh, We're going to well, try and add, you're not going to add this up in our heads, are we? <laughs> Don't be silly. <laughs> it's been a long time since the main school. Thing, obviously, so. Yeah. Okay. 8.5. Okay. So, total weight is. That's without pads. I probably should do pads, shouldn't I, as well? Now, we, we haven't enough. got them with us. 11.45. Very gently. And a six pot caliper, nine three five, so two point one kilos lighter, but with a six pot. Man, that's got to be good. Yeah, one investment. I'm sure you'll feel it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Everyone, everyone says, oh, you know, uh, unsprung weight. It matters so much. It really doesn't. I guarantee you nobody would feel the difference. It's because we're not sensitive five. enough. Yeah, you need to be calibrated better. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So it's time to bleed uh, the brakes, not me. Um, as you can hear, I've just turned the ignition on and it's got a uh, power braking system on this, so the electric pump's just winding up. I've just filled it up with fluid as well. Yeah. Uh, Another day, another dollar. Yeah, it's the next day. <laughs> um, yeah, kind of ran out of time yesterday. You, I think you saw us just bleeding the calipers there um, at the end of the day yesterday, but we lost most of the day to um, the, getting the 30 M3 ready for a track day, and that's still not ready. Um, it is Friday now, and the track day is on Monday. I've got to do some welding on uh, suspension mounting point that we changed, uh, double check the alignment, do a bolt check. Also this took up some time yesterday, the um, E92 M3, which James, my business partner, drives. So I just needed to get that ready, I changed some springs on that at the rear for him. Um, so yeah, Jay and I spent basically the last few days being extremely busy for a change and I have been trying to fit as much of this in as possible. but. It's bottom of the list at the moment, purely because it's not coming on the track day with us. Um, so since yesterday, bleeding the calipers, uh, I've just bled the accumulator, which is inside the front boot there. Uh, couldn't be asked to film it, because <laughs> it's difficult. Um, so hopefully now it's just a case of putting the wheels on, getting off the ramp, seeing how it feels, and um, yeah, I'll take for a drive later on.
Right, well, they feel like brakes, which is a good start. Um, so they appear to be bled. Uh, I'm not going to do a test just yet. I've really got to finish the M3 before I go and do a road test in the 964. But um, yeah, positive so far. Done messing about with the E30. Kind of ready to go on Monday, but more importantly, let's have a little drive of this. There we have it. <laughs> They're brakes, they work, no dramas. I haven't done any high speed yet. Um, I'm gonna sort of bed them in just because the pads are used, good condition. The discs are used, good condition, but off different cars. So I'm gonna take it a little bit easy to start off with. But um, yeah, they work, it's great. What more could I ask for, really? For those of you that may be interested in fitting Porsche carbon ceramic brakes to your 964 Turbo, um, yeah, all it requires is uh, a load of really expensive random parts that may or may not fit together. Um, some keen woodwork, some um, four attempts at 3D printing with the help of your um, one of your staff who's very good at um, 3D design. Uh, then uh, five weeks whilst you wait for um, the aluminium parts to be made. And then just simply, you know, couple of days fitting them. <laughs> it really is as simple as that. <laughs> so yeah, uh, I remind you why I was doing this in the first place, not for performance, just because I was fed up of um, brake dust on the wheels, uh, on the polished wheels. And obviously, I like a little bit of a, an engineering exercise and finding out if something is possible even if it is incredibly difficult so um, yes this is incredibly difficult I don't advise you try doing it um, it is not cost effective and just for the sake of you know not having dust on your wheels it's a really dumb idea so that's me thanks for watching I hope you enjoyed the video if you did please give us a like um, we've got loads more stuff coming up so make sure you're subscribed with the bell icon clicked because I know it doesn't seem to notify our subscribers um, of new videos coming out which is really annoying what's the point uh, my own personal Instagram is Phil Morrison DW where a lot of this stuff comes up before it ends up in a video because it takes me quite a long time to film and edit some of these things so um, I am a bit behind at the moment hoping to catch up on some sleep soon and uh, catch up on the videos um, but yeah thanks very much I'll see you in the next one at Driftworks, we've helped over 50,000 happy customers since 2004. Our huge online parts store is simple to use, with superb shipping rates to anywhere in the world, and finance options available for UK customers. We live and breathe wheel fitment, so if you have any questions about your own car or any of our products before placing an order, please drop us an email at shop at driftworks.com or give us a call. Thanks for watching.